Hello, and welcome to today's keynote. My name is Jim Brennan, and I serve as the Chief Product Officer here at Better Cloud. And I could not be more excited to be spending these keynote sessions today and tomorrow, outlining our vision for the future and discussing some of the investments we're making to deliver on that vision. Here at Better Cloud, we're hyper focused on solving the biggest challenges facing IT. And as you heard in David's keynote, one of the biggest challenges facing IT today is the growing number of SaaS applications being used by employees within your environment. In our recent State of SaaS Ops report, we found that the average IT team is actively managing 47 different SaaS applications. Now to put that in context, that number was just eight applications only five years ago. Despite this growth in applications, however, the size of the average IT team as a percentage of the overall organizations they support has actually declined. And this dynamic is creating new and quite difficult challenges for those teams. So let's talk about a few of those challenges. First, IT teams lack visibility into the app usage taking place within their domains. They simply don't know what apps are being used or by whom. In fact, research estimates that up to 30% of all SaaS spend is actually wasted due to lack of use or redundant use. Next, IT teams are getting crushed by slow manual management of their SaaS environment. Our research indicates that 74% of IT professionals spend one full day out of every work week manually managing their SaaS applications. And this time spent manually completing repetitive tasks, it's now impacting your ability to invest in more strategic projects that could greatly benefit your business. And finally, IT teams are finding it difficult to mitigate the security risks that exist across their SaaS portfolio. In our study last year on insider threats, we found that 50% of data breaches are actually caused by current employees or contractors. And the reality is your legacy IT tools were simply not designed to address these types of risks. At Better Cloud, we want to help you overcome these challenges by delivering the first all-in-one SaaS ops platform. To do that successfully, we know that we have to connect with each and every SaaS application within your environment. Once we've connected with those apps, BetterCloud takes the unique approach of mapping relationships that exist between the data in those various SaaS applications, creating operational intelligence. This operational intelligence provides context, the context you need to deliver a diverse set of use cases. And as such, it serves as the foundation of our entire platform. In fact, BetterCloud was granted a patent for this technology in 2019, acknowledging our leadership in the market. In order to fully leverage this operational intelligence, we've focused a great deal of investment on delivering a set of core platform capabilities to help you gain better visibility, efficiency, and control. Additionally, we've designed our platform to support the increases in SaaS adoption that many of you are experiencing today. We're committed to scaling with you as SaaS becomes the way in which work gets done for your business. Sitting on top of this platform are two Better Cloud solutions, Better Cloud Manage and Better Cloud Secure. These solutions were designed to address the most common use cases found in the SaaS Ops framework under SaaS management and SaaS security. And because these solutions address some of the biggest pain points, we've seen tremendous adoption of our SaaS Ops platform in the market. Since the last time we met at Altitude, we've added hundreds of new customers, the likes of which include Zoom, Hulu, and HubSpot, to name just a few. In addition to seeing new organizations adopt the platform, we're also finding that customers are using Better Cloud to support an increasing number of SaaS applications. As one example, when we look at the average number of connected apps per customer today versus a year ago, we see an increase from six to 11 applications, representing an 89% year over year increase. Our customers are also saving more and more time by automating an increasing number of actions. On average, our platform is now automating more than 23,000 actions every single day, representing a 77% increase over last year. And this number continues to go up with every month. All of which is translating into real-time savings. In a study recently completed by Forrester, they found that the manual process of offboarding an employee takes approximately eight hours. When IT automates that process using better cloud, however, it can be completed in only 30 minutes. This conversion of manual, tedious tasks to a streamlined, automated process unlocks material time savings and allows you to focus your team instead on the more strategic projects that add more value to your business. So as you can see from this product momentum, 
Better Cloud Manage and Better Cloud Secure offer incredible value when integrated with the applications being used by your employees. The full value of these solutions, however, can only be unlocked for the applications that you know about. And as we all know, our employees are constantly looking for new ways to increase their productivity and are therefore consistently introducing new applications into the environment every day. This trend has major implications for IT. First, you simply don't have a clear view into the applications being used. As we said, you don't know what's being used or by whom. Additionally, you probably don't have an understanding of the redundant applications in use. Take a common software category like project management. It's not uncommon for your marketing team to be using, let's say, monday.com, while your sales enablement team might be using Asana, and your finance team might be using Smartsheets. Additionally, you probably don't have an accurate view of your SaaS spend, making it tough to determine where you might be overlicensed. Just think about how easy it is for a department head to swipe their corporate credit card and start using that new application. And finally, you probably don't have a good understanding of the access that third-party applications have to your data, making it difficult to assess your overall security posture. Now, in order to address some of these challenges, you may be using manual methods like employee interviews or ad hoc surveys to try to get some pulse on what applications are in use. These methods, however, tend to be quite tedious and are often not very comprehensive. Additionally, you might be manually managing a spreadsheet, using it effectively as a system of record for SaaS ownership and deployment. And while this might be marginally better because it gives you some sense of how things are changing over time, it still suffers from many of the same problems. And lastly, there are some point products in the market today that address aspects of these challenges. Their impact, however, is quite limited because they don't give you any of the operational capabilities you need to take action on the insights that they provide. And the reality is increased visibility can only offer its full value when you're able to leverage it to better manage and secure your SaaS applications. And so as we looked at all of these challenges and we identified the gaps that existed in the market, we came to the conclusion that this was a problem that Better Cloud could and should solve. So here to tell us more about this is our Director of Product Strategy, Peter Bilali. Peter? Thank you, Jim. Here at Better Cloud, we knew that there was a better way. And today, I'm excited to announce the launch of Better Cloud Discover. This new product from Better Cloud empowers IT teams with actionable visibility into the SaaS applications running within their environment and helps really reveal the full breadth, depth, and scope of the SaaS applications deployed across their entire organization. And with this launch, Better Cloud becomes the first all-in-one SaaS ops platform that can discover, manage, and secure all of your SaaS applications from one place. And this also helps further the vision of the SaaS ops framework, unifying discovery with operations to make Better Cloud the ultimate system of record for SaaS. So it's great to hear just how, how Better Cloud Discover fits into the SaaS Ops framework so well. But it's also incredibly important to hear what, what values is this new functionality going to, bring to you, going to be bringing to you, our customers. So the first major value is increased visibility. By way of allowing you to answer the question, what are all the SaaS applications in use within my organization? This is, like a, this is an incredibly simple thing to, to, it seems like an incredibly simple thing, but it's actually a, a very, very difficult thing to attain. And once you are able to attain it, it's incredibly valuable information for you to have. We're also gonna help you out by, by helping you increase your operational efficiency. Once you have that visibility into all the SaaS applications that are in use within your environment, you're then, you're then able to make more informed decisions on which applications should be in your environment or shouldn't be based on based on their activity, based on how well they're being used or not used. And then lastly, security. Security these days is at an all-time high importance. With all of our end users just adopting whatever applications are necessary to get their job done, all of those third-party applications have some sort of security posture. And it's important for you to be able to figure out which one should or shouldn't be within your environment. So let's dig into exactly how we're going to be delivering this functionality to you, our customers. How exactly are we able to find all of these SaaS applications that are in use within your organization? We wanted to pick the discovery methods that we felt were most impactful, most critical for our customer base. And you'll also notice that with each discovery method that we introduce, this will just continue to add more and more layers of depth to that application data graph that we're building. 
So the first major way that we're able to discover applications is through OAuth. So through our existing integrations with, with G Suite, with Microsoft 365, with Dropbox, Salesforce, and Slack, we're able to evaluate all the third-party applications that have OAuth access into those core systems. This is an incredibly important method of discovery because this is one of the primary ways that we see end users adopting third-party apps in SaaS forward environments. The next major way that we'll be providing discovery capabilities is through SSO integrations. So through our integrations with G Suite, Microsoft 365, Okta, and OneLogin, we're able to evaluate all of the login activity that's occurring through those systems. This is incredibly important because not only does this provide application discovery capabilities, but this also provides us with rich information around last logins and last activity. The third discovery method that we're going to be using is, and this may be the most obvious one, but better caught, of course. We heard from Jim earlier about how our customers are just just integrating more and more applications into the Better Cloud platform. And so we're able to leverage Better Cloud to figure out exactly which applications are integrated and add that as another deep layer of data fidelity into our data graph. And then the fourth one that we'll be introducing is expense and ERP integrations. And so for that, we'll be integrating with NetSuite, Expensify, and Concur. And this is important for providing application discovery capabilities, but it's also incredibly important because we'll then be able to provide spend reporting on your applications as well. And just to talk about how effective these discovery methods have been since we've introduced this to our alpha group. The median number of applications that we've found in use within that group of customers is 680. This is so many more than we initially thought we'd find going into the program. Even more so, we found that usually customers will find two times more applications than what they originally thought prior to us turning this functionality on. And that just really speaks volumes into how effective those discovery methods can be. The next way that we'll be helping you increase efficiency is by evaluating the redundant applications in use. Redundant applications can point to applications that solve the same, the same application category, the same use case, but they can also point to, to, to multiple instances of the same application that are deployed within your organization. In either case, both are incredibly important to be able to find and make important decisions on. Within our alpha group, we actually found that on average, the number of redundant application categories that we found per customer is actually 25 categories. This means that there's 25 categories within each customer where there's two or more applications that are solving the same use case. This represents a massive potential cost saving if customers are able to make decisions to remove some of those redundant applications. So the next way that we're able to provide increased efficiency is through expense and resource planning. What this really speaks to is actually being able to find the users and applications that are inactive. And through our various discovery methods, we're able to figure out last logins and last activities across many of your, application, of your users' applications. So taking a look back into our alpha group, we were able to find across all of the user SaaS user accounts that we were able to sync in, 10% of those users had not logged in for more than 90 days. If I told each of those customers that they, they would be able to save 10% on their SaaS application costs, that would be a huge win for all of them. And then the third way that we are able to increase efficiency is through spend reporting. I mentioned earlier that we're going to be introducing those expense and ERP integrations. And again, those are going to be providing a, a key discovery method for, for, for finding applications in use within your organization. But they're also going to be able to provide us with valuable information around how much those applications cost. And lastly, let's talk a little bit more about reducing security risks with Better Cloud Discover. The first way that Better Cloud can help you reduce your security risks is by reporting on risky third-party OAuth applications within your environment. OAuth applications are incredibly important to, to be able to, to report effectively on because, again, we mentioned earlier that these are one of the most common ways that end users will go and adopt third-party apps. And on top of that, OAuth permissions are granting them access to some critical piece of corporate data in most cases. To take a deeper look into that, we found throughout our alpha group that OAuth applications with more than two scopes represented 80% of the total set of OAuth applications that we discovered. 
That means that 80% of the OAuth applications throughout our alpha group have access to some critical piece of corporate data. So the next way that we're able to help you reduce security risks is by, is by quick, more quickly evaluating the applications that are discovered within your environment. And to do this, we populate through our application catalog really valuable firmographic data about those apps. This includes things like the vendor, the, the vendor website, the actual size of the company that produces that application, the location of the vendor. Again, all of this is incredibly important information to allow you to be able to, to answer the question, hey, is this something that I need to take action on ASAP? Or is this something that I can put just into the normal evaluation cycle? And then we'll continue to evolve that application catalog as well, because this is a critical part of our discovery system. So we'll continue to add in more and more helpful information to, to continue to cut down on that evaluation time. And some of, the, some of the data that we'll add in the future will include compliance information around how many security vulnerabilities has this organization had? Um, how, wh what type of compliance certifications do they have? All that will be really, really important information when you're evaluating risky third-party applications. And to take a look at, at, at just how our app catalog has grown in such a short time, we already have amassed an app catalog of 12,000 apps. This provides really, really excellent coverage for all the applications that are going to be discovered within your environment. And then the last way, and potentially the most important way that will help you reduce security risks, is by introducing application security policies like the rest of Better Cloud, where being able to actually operationalize on the data is so key to success within the system. We left no exception for Better Cloud Discover as well. We're going to allow you to set up all the critical policies for when new applications are discovered and when you want to automate actions to be taken to reduce potential security risks. So rather than just continue to hear me talk about this feature and, and, and show you all these different stats, we'd rather actually just show you this live in action now. Welcome to Better Cloud Discover. We're incredibly excited to show you exactly how Better Cloud executes on the promise of the SaaS Ops framework and unifies application discovery with SaaS management and security. The Better Cloud Discover interface is optimized for maximum visibility of the SaaS applications within your environment. With this new user interface, you can browse all of the SaaS applications that have been discovered across your organization. You can leverage the data grid to report on vital information, including the application category and the status of the application that is stored in Better Cloud. As you populate these application statuses, these high-level compliance metrics will automatically populate, making for easy consumption of details. The discovery method is always available throughout Discover, so you know whether it was discovered via OAuth, SSO, as a direct Better Cloud integration, or any combination of those. You can also see the discovered date. And of course, the number of users that we have discovered using that particular application. When you navigate into a specific application, you're presented with valuable firmographic information from our application catalog. This can give you important insight into the application category, vendor location, and vendor size. Also on this tab, you're able to update the application status and the application owner. Lastly, you can leverage insights here to evaluate potentially redundant applications that Better Cloud has found in use within your organization. On the Users tab, you can drill down into the details of the users discovered on that particular app. Critical user information is available to filter on and report on and you can understand exactly how this user account was discovered, when it was discovered, and when it was last active. When you click into a user 360, you'll also notice a brand new view that displays all the applications we've discovered for that particular user. For the final tab, you can gain insight into thir the third-party applications that specifically have OAuth access into your core SaaS applications. In this case, G Suite. You can see helpful inf information about these applications, similar to what is in the main application script. But more importantly, you can report on the OAuth permissions that each application is granted. This is incredibly important to accurately evaluate the risk of third-party applications within your environment. Better Cloud Discover provides incredible value for discovering applications in use within your environment.
With this new solution from Better Cloud, IT can now leverage one platform to discover, manage, and secure all of their SaaS applications in one place. All right, hopefully that was really, really awesome and helpful to see live in person. I know we're incredibly excited to get this into customers' hands, so let's talk a bit more about timelines here. We've had the Discover Alpha live starting last month, and we saw the incredible success that that had. And today, we are very excited to be launching this product into general availability. This is by far one of the most valuable features we have ever launched, and I encourage every customer to speak with their CSM to learn more. And we're looking to launch our next wave of enhancements to Discover in early 2021. We're so excited about all the potential use cases that we can solve and want to maintain a strong drumbeat of innovation over the next few quarters. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and hand it back to Jim. Thank you, Peter, for taking us through that exciting announcement. Now, as excited as we are about Better Cloud Discover, we wanted you to hear firsthand from some of our customers, including one customer who participated in our Discover Alpha program. So we're very fortunate, therefore, to be joined today by Eric Sturmer, Senior IT Manager with Trojan Battery, and Enrique Jenkins, Director of IT with DoorDash. Eric and Enrique, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Happy to be here, thank you. So maybe to begin, if you could each tell us a bit about your companies and about the roles that you have within those companies. And Enrique, why don't we start with you? Sure. Uh, so I work at DoorDash. We are a technology platform. We connect merchants, dashers, and consumers on our platform. We essentially provide a way for these merchants, dashers, and consumers to connect for logistical things. A lot of us know for our delivery platform for, for food delivery, but we're not a delivery company. Um, we are a technology platform. So with my role here as DoorDash is the director of IT, I enable all of our end users to essentially do their jobs, do their best work. So all the technology, all the infrastructure, all the core services are all my responsibility to make sure that my team has all the tools they need to do their best work. Eric, how about you? Uh, my name is Eric Sturmer. I'm the manager of infrastructure and support at Trojan Battery Company. We are a battery manufacturer, manufacture deep cycle batteries for a variety of industries, uh, such as telecommunications, uh, golf cart, industrial, um, and some consumer use in RVs. Excellent. Thank you. So we've been talking a lot today about this challenge of how do you gain visibility into your environment? And in particular, how do you know about the applications that are being used and by whom? And we've talked about how great of a challenge that is and some ways to perhaps overcome it. But I'd love to hear from each of you about what that challenge has looked like for your companies. You know, what, what has it meant in terms of how you've operated? What ways have you tried to solve it? And why don't we begin with you, Eric? Well, before we were a better cloud customer, we were using um, ingesting our firewall logs into a solution so that we could see where our employees were going um, and kind of monitoring everybody while they were at the office. Uh, this worked pretty well up until COVID hit and all of a sudden everybody was out of the office um, and working remotely. And so we really lost all visibility of what was happening, where our users were going and what they were doing uh, until Better Cloud came in and provided us with the solution uh, of being able to look at these applications and, and, and gain some insight to, to where the users are going without us having to be on-prem. I'm curious, Eric, even in that on-prem world, when you think back to those days, which I'm sure in, in some respect seems like a long time ago, with that amount of visibility that you had, did you maintain some type of source of truth? How did you go about that? Was it a spreadsheet or some other program or asset management? How did you keep a record of that information? We used a few tools. Spreadsheets, obviously, were the easy one. Uh, we did use asset management. Uh, you know, we, we logged. Uh, services in, in an MDM and watched it there, but we really didn't have one single source of truth. Uh, we would have to go to many different areas and kind of pull together to try to figure out what was happening. And Enrique, how about a DoorDash? What's that challenge look like for you? A little history lesson. We all know that uh, technology and IT specifically was essentially looked at as a gatekeeper or blocker a lot of times. And so I'm essentially fighting my ancestors, my IT ancestors right now. Um, I kind of have a different perspective on how to partner with my, my business partners, essentially. And so technology today <clears throat> is essentially built to bypass IT. It's meant to get to the end user fast, quick, 
and without having to nag IT for access or implementation processes, et cetera. And so me knowing that over the years, I've actually used my ability to interface with people to actually build those gaps and build those relationships with people to find a way to have application discovery. We discover a lot of tools through our expense reporting, crowdsourcing, going through our uh, single sign-on tools. We have different number of ways to gather insight on things, but the main thing I do is actually kind of change the perspective that I want people to come to me first to help them implement things versus people doing things in a shadow experience where we have what we all know is SaaS sprawl. And so that's been my my way of handling it. I love I love the way you describe that sort of new generation of, of IT and where IT is meant to be an accelerant and it's not just a gatekeeper. And we're seeing that. We were seeing that, of course, before COVID and now much more since then. Um, I'm curious, as you think about your visibility today, uh, if you don't mind sharing, what do, you, what do you estimate to be the number of SaaS applications that are in use today among your employees? So I know exactly the number that I have logged that I'm tracking. It's 286. There is some redundancy there. There are some stuff that there are some tools out there that you know, I'm not fully aware of. So I'm going to round out about between 250 and 300 applications, which are being used actively by my employee base. And then Eric, obviously you've been part of the Discover Alpha program. And so uh, you've gotten some recent visibility from that. I would love to hear about your expectations coming into that program. You talked about your challenges. You know, what was your sense in terms of number of applications or how widespread SaaS was prior to joining the Discover Alpha program? We had anticipated, you know, based on what we've known, around 100 applications that we were going to find. And uh, once we got access to the Better Cloud application, it was pretty mind blowing when we discovered there was 386. Um, there are some redundancies in there, so it could be scaled down, but still significantly more than anything that we ever even expected. So more applications, any other surprises once you got that visibility? Right now we're looking through, just trying to get a handle on, on what we saw. Um, but you know, not, not necessarily a surprise as to what they're doing, it's just the volume that's out there. We just had no idea. Can you tell us a bit, Eric, about the experience of onboarding to the Discover platform? What did that look like for you? The onboarding process that we went through with Better Cloud was amazing in, in all respects. I mean, we had a, a great team that helped us uh, with our calls. Um, walked us through setting everything up from, you know, from very beginning to end. Uh, and then, you know, finally giving us and showing us the Discover platform. So it was really a, a great experience. I, I probably one of the best ones, honestly, that I've ever went through and implementing any tool. That's great to hear. And then for Discover in particular, was that was that a fairly easy transition to go from the capabilities that you were already using on Better Cloud to then enabling Discover? Yeah, I mean, enabling Discover for us was was kind of what I consider frosting on the cake, if you will. Um, it just really helped tie a lot together and, and really start bringing things into a, a single pane of glass, especially for us, because we were just looking all over the place and having to compile data um, and look in several different sources to to figure out what, what was really being out there. And we were missing things. I mean, I'm not going to lie, but we, we were definitely missing things. Sure. And so we spoke a lot earlier in the session about how the main reason that visibility is so important is that it can then help you better manage and secure those applications. So now that you've gotten this visibility, has it changed any of your thinking about how to go about managing and securing the applications that you now know about? Uh, it's going to definitely, it's definitely sparked a lot of internal conversations with the different department and the users of those technologies, trying to figure out you know, why they're using some of these things. Is it something that we can do maybe better train on the technologies that are sanctioned? Um, or is there a need that they just didn't communicate to us that they, we really need to go out? Um, and, and either way, no matter what it is, whether if it's something we need to add to the portfolio or if it's something we just need to better train and then eliminate, um, it's still something that we want to secure. Because if we've got data out there, intellectual property sitting out there, um, you know, we want to make sure it's secure. And, and at the end of the day, that's what it's about, is locating those applications for us, finding out where our data is, and then making sure that it's protected. Excellent. And when you think about what's next in terms of how you would like to leverage a tool like Discover, what you would like to see from it as you go forward, you know, in many ways, it sounds like you've taken a really first important step in terms of getting visibility. Now, where do you want to go with it from here? Again, like you said, really just 
sitting down with our business uh, uh, units and just trying to determine why they went out to get these third party tools and what what is the business challenge that they were trying to solve with this technology. Excellent. And so Enrique, you spoke about some of the great things that you're doing to try to overcome this challenge of visibility, um, a variety of tools and techniques. When you think about a solution like Discover that perhaps could make that a bit easier, what are you looking for? What do you hope to see in a solution like that? Uh, the first thing I'll say is I wish I had a, a time machine because I had a conversation with Dave about this uh, maybe nine months ago where I was saying, hey man, I love BetterCloud. I've been a fan of the tools since I think 2011, I became a first time customer of BetterCloud or, or Flash Panel back then. And I was saying, the one thing you're missing is the ability to discover these applications within my environment. I find myself spending cycles going through the spread, multiple spreadsheets, talking to people, understanding what the business folks are doing in their roles and how I can help them, empower them to do better, um, find ways to reduce redundancy, look at my spin, track my spin, find insights. And a lot of 2020, I've spent doing just that, especially now that we're growing so rapidly, so fast, there's new applications popping up, new needs popping up every single day. And for me, the, the insights I can gain from this will help me to make it easier moving forward because I'll be able to establish profiles or risk profiles that these tools are actually generating within my environment. So if I know that this type of application has these types of exposures and such, et cetera, I don't have to find that out after the fact. I can be preventative and plan for that and, and mitigate those things before they become an issue. So for me, a tool like Discover makes my job easy. It's simple as that. It makes my job predictable. Uh, it makes me be more effective and efficient in providing things and insights to my, my, my hires and my, my higher ups, essentially. And Enrique, I can tell you, your input definitely shaped our thinking on this subject. So thank you for that. And it was, that was part of a trend that we started to see in the market today. Um, you talked about your desire to have this be part of the Better Cloud platform. Can you tell us a bit more about why is it so important that this type of discover capability is integrated with everything else a tool like Better Cloud can offer? What's the value behind that? So a lot of people don't really understand IT. It's, it's a black box for a lot of people unless you're, in, unless you're in the business of IT. And so what I like to do just personally is demystify what it is that we do. I want people to understand what we do so they can leverage us and know to come to us and help partner with whatever they need. So a tool like this to simplify and put everything into your, on, behind one single pane of glass, um, as was mentioned earlier, it makes life easy. When I have to demonstrate things to people in, in demos that I'm on, I'm clicking through multiple portals and multiple panels. I've already lost my audience. Um, I already have a hard time keeping an audience talking about dry IT content as it is. Um, but making things demystified so that you can educate, and I've used the word empower multiple times because we don't enable, we empower people. So we bring people along with the journey that we're on together. We have a model at DoorDash for one team, one fight. So for me, the more that I can educate my peers and my team members what we're doing, the more excited I can get for them to work with me for future projects and make our, that bond and that partnership much stronger in the future. Excellent. Okay, last question for each of you. What are you most excited about when it comes to Better Cloud Discover? Eric, why don't we start with you? Really just digging in deep and, and, and looking at my business and, and, and opening the door to have these communications with the business owners. Uh, like Enrique mentioned, you know, IT is a, it's a, it's a black box and, and a lot of people don't understand what happens. So uh, being able to have something to walk in, to sit down with that's a, that, that we can talk to immediately as to, hey, I see you're using X, Y, Z. Um, and it just kind of opens the door and relaxes everyone and, and lets us have a real open communication about what's going on and what can we do to help. Enrique? Yeah, and so like I said before, just simplifying what we do at IT, the operations which we maintain and own, putting things behind one single pane of glass is super, super effective for us. Um, secondly, um, a more selfish um, reason why I'm excited about this is like I said, I've been a big cheerleader of, of Better Cloud, Dave and the whole team, everyone, um, Chris Jennings, my account manager, um, just selfish plug there, he's an awesome guy. Um, I've just, just been a big cheerleader of this company and so to see the growth and see the explosion of this company just gets me excited just to be part of the journey. Excellent. Well, Eric and Enrique, we want to thank you so much for spending this time with us, for being such great customers. We really appreciate it. Thanks again. 
Thanks Thank for having you. me. Thanks for having me. Now, with all the exciting news from today, let's take a minute to talk about what you can do next to learn more and to even try Better Cloud Discover for yourself. As Peter mentioned, Better Cloud Discover is generally available starting today. So please speak with your customer success manager or your sales rep for more information. We'd also be happy to demo the solution for you to show you the true power of a fully integrated platform that offers SaaS discovery, SaaS management, and SaaS security. Additionally, Peter will be delivering two deep dive sessions on Discover later today, in which we'll go into much greater detail on the solution, so be sure to check that out. We're also hosting a better workshop in which our own IT team will be talking about their experience implementing and using Discover in the Better Cloud corporate environment. And then finally, we're hosting a great panel of SaaS ops experts who will be discussing, among other topics, this challenge of visibility and what they're doing to overcome it. We're also hosting a webinar on Thursday, October 29th from 2 to 3 p.m., in which we'll go deeper once again into Discover. So I invite you to join us for that. And finally, we hope that you'll join us for tomorrow's product keynote, in which we'll discuss the investments we're making in our managed and secure solutions. And we'll be making some exciting announcements in that session as well, so you don't want to miss that one. And I want to thank you for spending this time with us today. We hope that you are as excited about Better Cloud Discover as we are. We look forward to seeing you in the next session, and we thank you once again for joining us.